What's up guys, Quezzy or Noah here, bringing you guys another video. Today I redesigned every NFL jersey in the league, all 32, multiple jerseys. Um, I don't know why, but I did it, and it took me a long time. Started this in February, it is now September, and I'm finally finished and ready to show them off in this video. A few years ago, a user on Reddit, goes by the name of Bacon, um, did an analysis of all the NFL jerseys and he broke them down into a couple different categories that include awful, bad, close, good, great, and grand. So I took those categories and that's what I used to split up these jerseys. Now before I get started I want to set some ground rules for how I approach this. So I did not apply the helmet rule because the helmet rule sucks, it's stupid. And you should be able to have multiple colored helmets. It's really dumb. Uh, also, I think in the NFL, you should be able to wear a yellow or gray jersey as an away jersey against a dark color. So like that was a thought process I had when I was designing these. And I try to mix current designs with past designs of different franchises. Um, obviously the ones that have been around a long time. The newer ones are just ideas that I had for those franchises. Um, obviously I understand if some of these you guys don't like of your team or other teams, but this is just how I would want the jerseys to be because we all know a lot of these designs are outdated. Some of these designs have not changed my whole lifetime. I've seen the same Arizona Cardinals jersey my whole life. Nothing else. Um, I think at least. I don't really remember. Um, but I'm sure there's some jersey that's never changed. Baltimore Ravens, that has not changed as long as I've been watching football. So um, a lot of teams could use some spicing up. Some designs don't change at all because they're classics, and I'll get into that as we go. We're going to start with the awful jerseys from Bacon's analysis and move um, forward into the great and grand. So the first team in awful, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, their jerseys aren't bad to begin with, it's just their alarm clock numbers that suck. Uh, and if you didn't notice, they have a bunch of colors in their jersey. They have red, pewter, orange, gray, and black. Um, and obviously white. So I try to limit those colors in my design. Um, I gave them a gradient helmet and the helmet logo. I just made the logo that's on the flag of their logo, if that makes sense. And uh, the gradient goes from a red to the pewter. And then I repeated that gradient on multiple aspects of the jersey like the shoulder pads and the pants stripe. If you guys remember the Jaguars awful attempt at a gradient helmet, they only had the gradient helmet and no other gradients anywhere else in the jersey which made it awful. So I try to incorporate that gradient in other places to kind of give it a wholesomeness and I also did a gradient for another team later on that you'll see. Also I gave Tampa Bay a orange creamsicle throwback because those orange creamsicle jerseys are incredible and beautiful. And I gave him an all black like pirate sort of theme jersey because I love all black jerseys and it feels like it fit in Tampa Bay with like the Buccaneers feel and like the old pirate flag. I don't know, it just made sense. Also, the rest of their division has all black jerseys, so Tampa Bay might as well too. Also, I love all black jerseys and I'm not ashamed to give every team an all black jersey if they use black in their color scheme. And you'll notice I sort of did that. Now the Browns have one of the greatest brands I guess in the NFL in that it's so simplistic it's so boring that it's not boring I guess they got a new jersey a few years ago and for some reason they put text all over it and they gave the brown jersey orange stitches in fact they just announced that they're using their color rush jersey as their main jersey so I mean that's how much people hate the actual jersey in my case I just went back to the, their simple Browns design of the early 2000s or whatever it's like basically the same design they've had forever. I changed up the stripes so the stripes are always the same no matter the color, the whole jersey. And I kept it simple. Um, there's not a lot going on. The only text is browns across the chest. I figure that's their big text uh, moment on their jersey. That's all they need. They're the browns. Like we get it. Browns, cool. The only th thing of interest other than that is the collar of different colors on the away jersey that I did. But other than that, they have an all orange jersey and an all brown jersey with orange numbers that's similar to their color rush jersey. I gave them a gray face mask to give them that classic feel. I think it fits. The Jaguars are in the awful category, but really Bacon did his analysis before the Jaguars went through their most recent redesign, which is a lot better than their jerseys previous, the gradient helmet. Uh, their jersey went from being really busy to uh, very simple. 
And that's not a bad thing. I think their new look isn't too bad. I don't understand why they still wear black as a home jersey when they have that sick teal. Like, that teal is really nice. Uh, but other than that, I think their new jerseys are pretty solid, and Nick Foles looks great in it, and he's going to ball out, hopefully. In my interpretation, I kept those numbers uh, simple like they are in the new rebrand. Uh, but I did go a little complex with their uh, shoulder pads and like the stripe. I try to make it reflect like forward movement and speed because I figured that fits with a Jaguar. And also on the gold parts, I put the Jaguar print. The alternate would be like a Notre Dame inspired, um, like gold helmet with the Jaguar pattern, gold pants and the teal top. I think that actually looks really sick, but I don't think they'd ever do that. I think those helmets would be really cool as their main helmets, but I wasn't brave enough to make that their actual helmets, so I, I did it as an alternate. I think it looks pretty cool. Alright, the Rams are kind of, like, it's not their fault that their jerseys currently suck because they're in between two different styles. Um, they still wear their St. Louis uh, all whites, but they got the LA navy and white helmet. That doesn't match the rest of the uniform. They really just, if they got rid of the gold, they'd be great. I guess they're waiting for their new stadium to release their new uniforms and their new look. According to some quotes, it seems like they might stay with the blue and yellow classic look, but also others, it may, it looks like they're going to go all white and navy. I think they're going to do both, wear the all white and navy, as well as the blue and yellow. So those are like my two main um, home uniforms that I designed for them. I added some flair in the horn designs on the helmet and um, the shoulder pads and obviously the pants stripe uh, just to make it a little more interesting kind of make it mine now we're on to the first bad team um, bad design team which is the Tennessee Titans now bacon did this before their rebrand as well um, if he were to do it again the new redesign probably would be slightly higher I would assume but it's still like kind of not that great um, so I tried to limit the amount of colors I use for different combinations in uh, my design and I went mainly with like the Oilers color scheme and instead of a white helmet I did the light blue helmet I think light blue just looks really nice I don't know why they don't um, just embrace that as the main color um, there's too many navy teams dude like come on but since they have the navy and the red they have a bunch of color combos that they could rock with that but the red and the light blue I think looks really nice together. I also kept the similar like sword stripe that they have currently. Theirs is like a big one on the shoulders in real life. Mine is just on the sleeves there and on the pants and the helmet. And I don't know, I think it's a pretty slick design. And it's obviously the like light gray and the dark gray on like the dark colors or whatever, like the blue. But then on white, it could be the dark blue and the light blue, which I think is a, like a clever way to incorporate both blues on the white jersey. The Cardinals are victims of the old Reebok template, which a couple teams are um, in the NFL. They just have an outdated template that needs updating. Um, it just has a bunch of random pipes and um, square blocks that Bacon mentions in his Reddit analysis. Like for the time, it was pretty cool. Like it looked fine, but they definitely need updating with something more modern. Their look before that look too was actually pretty sleek and clean. It was fairly simple, but I kind of used that as the base for my redesign. And I kept the Cardinals pretty simple. I didn't go with a gray face mask. I went all white. I think that looks pretty nice for the uniforms I created. Also, I had a um, like a block gradient, sort of. So it's like four different colors that go from white to red with like the in-betweens. And it's four blocks of those colors. And it was I did that to sort of look like a mirage effect that you get from looking at like the heat, like on pavement, but since they're in Arizona desert, like you'd see it in the desert, that's kind of where I was going with that. And it gives, it just gives them something interesting on the sleeves that would be unique to them, which I try to give every team something unique to them, whether it be a stripe, a gradient, colors, whatever. Um, so I did that for them, and then also I gave them an alternate that features like the sunrise that's on their flag, because I think that's a pretty sweet, um, unique thing to Arizona. Also, I gave them an all black uniform that has a black helmet, because their black uniforms suck with their white helmet. Like, I don't know if I'm the only one that, like, absolutely hates when the Cardinals wear black because it looks so dumb with their helmet. Now, the Bengals have arguably the best helmet in the NFL. I say it's the second best um, to, you know, who. Uh, people, some people don't like the Bengals helmet. Like, that blows my mind. It's the best helmet in the NFL. If I take my bias out, the helmet is beautiful. 
Um, their uniforms suck though because they have the stupid white block on the sides. So basically I got rid of that. I changed up their uh, the leg stripe on the pants. Started it from the bottom. That's just a personal choice. And everyone loved their Color Rush um, jerseys, which I'm included in that. But it looks weird with the orange helmet, so I just gave them a white helmet. The Panthers are another team that, for some reason, wears black as their home uniform. Even though they have the most gorgeous blue to use. I mean, I like. I don't know why they don't just always wear blue at home. I mean, I guess, like, night game, maybe you want to wear all black. Um, f like, fair enough. You can use it as an alternate. But the main color should be the blue. The blue is beautiful. Um, I made their main one blue on black, but their blue on silver look looks really good. But for some reason, I always get a vibe that it has to be warm out when they wear those. So I was thinking, like, that'd be their early games. And then later in the season, they wear the black pants. I don't know. That's just in my head. If I was playing with them in Madden, that's how I'd do it. And also, I changed up their stripes on the side to be to go from like into the chest from the side rather than over the top. If you notice, in Carolina's current uniforms, they have three different stripes. Like their helmet stripe goes out, and it's like two different stripes. Um, their jersey one is just like your normal football stripes with two colors on either side, colored down the middle. And then their pants stripe goes to a point. So it's like three different stripes. Uh, and designs throughout the uniform, which is fine because like football does that all the time, but I made it a little more consistent because I like consistent striping. And of course I gave them an all black uniform because every team needs an all black uniform and I mean it is one of their main uniforms already. I also gave them an all light blue uniform with like silver numbers that could be like reflective or something neat. Now we're on to the close teams. So the Atlanta Falcons have a pretty good look. Um, Color-wise, they they're the only red and black team, and that's like a beautiful color scheme to use. Uh, but again, they like the Cardinals, they just have an outdated Reebok design template. It's really just a bit dated. They have a black logo on a black helmet. Bacon mentioned this in his analysis, um, but I've always noticed it, that it's just kind of, uh, it's kind of weird that you have a black logo on a black helmet. They kind of pull it off, it works, but I prefer their red helmet. I think that looks way better. So for my redesign, I gave them red uniform, black pants, red helmet uh, as like the main look. With red and black you have so many color combos, you could do so much, you give them gray pants. So there's this is like the most color combos of any team so far. Well, and it, it's probably the most in the whole project, honestly. Also for the black uniforms, I think the black helmet looks really slick, so I went with that. And then their color rush is just like it's like red with the silver sides, black numbers. The actual design of the jersey though features triangular um, pattern on the sleeves and the helmet and the pants which is to represent like bird feathers sort of like what seattle currently has but since atlanta stadium features like a bunch of triangles and their logo feels very triangular i figured just triangles as a pattern would kind of fit with the whole vibe they got going on and i kind of try to match that with like a pointed font as well the ravens have really solid uniforms they just have never changed in their whole history and fair enough, they're not bad. They have a pretty cool color scheme. They, I wish they incorporated gold a little more, which is why in my design I featured some gold on the sleeves. Also put the Maryland flag on the shoulders there, uh, because if you ever met anyone from Maryland, they love the Maryland flag. Their alternate, I went all purple with a purple helmet, and I figured that's a way better replacement to those awful gold pants they have. Also, I designed this one back in February. It's one of the early ones, hence Flacco on the jersey I didn't I didn't know he'd he'd leave Denver's uniforms are another case of just getting old really it was a really cool design for the 90s and early 2000s and whatnot they went from the all navy look to the orange and white look I don't know it just it looks a bit dated their color rush looks really good so I kind of went with the same kind of style I also went with like a slightly lighter blue not lighter but like a brighter more blue navy rather than like the dark navy and I gave him like a consistent stripe pattern throughout I also stayed with the orange on white home look um, because I think that's that's what most people know Denver as and I don't know I think that's what they're using now so I just kept that the Chargers finally announced that they're wearing the powder blue as their home jersey it only took 20 years or whatever I don't know how long people have been calling for it but like my whole life people just wanted them to wear the powder blues all the time finally this year they're doing it I went with a yellow face mask because I think that matches it better I also put the numbers on their helmets because they used to do that way back in the day 
And since their helm or their helmet logo allows some space below, so I it fits them really well, and no one else in the NFL does it. So I figured they they should do it. It kind it kind of works and it looks really nice. I figure the powder blue should be the main blue that they use on their home and away. And then you have like a navy alternate if you want to wear that. The Dolphins have pretty solid uniforms in my opinion. Uh, Bacon puts them in the close category. Fair enough. I think their throwback uniform is like way better than their actual uniform. Um, so I kind of based my design off of that a little more, but I also went with like their current all white helmet since it fits their new logo a little better than their old logo. Also, you'll notice I put Dan Marino on their uniform and I did that before the Dolphins traded away everyone. I also went to like a more green Dolphins green. Their current uniform is a little more on the blue side than normal. Um, and I also gave him an all gray alternate. The stripe on their sleeve and the pants and the helmet that I used is just basically their the helmet stripe they've always had. And then on the sleeve, I just kind of uh, I just made it a little more interesting by staggering the lengths and the sharpness of it. Like I said, I wanted to give every team something unique, and that's kind of like their unique uniform touch. All right, now the Texans are an interesting one in the case that they don't have a bad uniform, but they don't have a good uniform. Like Penn State and Alabama have really iconic, classic uniforms that are simple. And Houston is not like simple enough to be classic, and they're not old enough of a franchise to be classic, but their jersey isn't like new enough and like sleek. And I don't, it's just like somewhere in the middle that they just need a little something to make them make their jerseys a little more interesting in my opinion i think their color rush jersey was really nice and it had the red numbers on the blue uniform which is what i used as a base for mine and you'll notice i went with the gradient helmet and i feel like this is such an obvious thing to do with them their logo is a longhorn that's two-toned red and blue it's like do that with your helmet like it's just like it's in your logo you might as well do it um, i don't know maybe houston fans don't want that i think it'd be really cool and they could wear blue and red at home then, and like it looks good for both. They can mix up their color combos or whatever. Um, I don't know. I just think it'd be really nice. I also incorporated the gradient into some other elements on the jersey. I kind of kept that like um, little stripe they have there, the little sharp stripe, um, since I figured like that could be their thing. A lot of teams have it, but they have it with other elements, and Houston really like that's their only element on it. Moving on to the good category, um, we have the Cowboys, and the Cowboys are like the weirdest uniform team in the league, where their uniform technically really sucks in its design and is really dumb, but it still like looks good, and they have like green pants. Although their all their navy away uniforms are actually really nice, I, like I think they should wear them a little more. In my design, I went with normal silver pants. But I also went with like the weird green pants as an alternate. The only change I made to the actual uniform was getting rid of the black edges on the stripes on the sleeve because I thought that was kind of dumb. In the blue away jersey, the only change was not having an outlined number. And then I just gave them two alternate jerseys, one being like the classic throwback with that white helmet, which everyone loves them wearing on Thanksgiving before the helmet rule came about. And then like an alternate white that I thought would be pretty cool using the more royal blue. But yeah, duck phallus. The Saints have a great color scheme and a great jersey in my opinion. They suffer a problem along with the Ravens where when they wear black pants with their black socks, since they don't have a stripe on their pants, it has that yoga pants look. Bacon actually mentions that in his analysis as well. The only major changes I made to the Saints uniform was uh, I altered the stripe on their helmet to feature uh, a diamond in the middle of it. I thought that looked pretty cool and it, it felt like New Orleans, but there's no not a reason. I don't know. It just it just seemed like it made sense to me. And I also put that stripe on their black uniforms on the sleeves. And then of course I put it on the black pants to to prevent the yoga pants look. I also went with an all white that features a white helmet. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think their away jersey should be their color rush jersey with the gold numbers. Everyone loved that look. I'm no exception. My Redskins design is a little unique in the sense that I didn't use their normal um, logo on their helmet. I think their logo is really dumb. The logo 
of the Redskins features a Native American with feathers in a circle that also has feathers, which is really dumb when you think about it. So I didn't want to put that logo there because um, I thought it was stupid, but I figured I'd use the uh, feathers from it as like the helmet design. The pattern I put on their uniforms is like a Native American pattern that I made that features like arrows and stuff and incorporates like the different colors that they have in their color scheme because they have a really nice color scheme with that burgundy and that like yellow that really pops with it and I did that uh, pattern on like the helmet and the jersey but I kept the pants simple so it wasn't like too chaotic with that pattern everywhere now we're on to the team with the best helmet in the league the birds uh, the Eagles, of course, and I honestly do think their helmet is the best, though. Their helmet is just really sick. Uh, now, obviously, people will think that we should go back to the Kelly Green look, and we should definitely have the Kelly Green look, but we won the Super Bowl in Midnight Green, and we're going to keep the Midnight Green. But I think it looks really cool. It's really unique to Philadelphia. I put my own spin on the uniform. Obviously, the uniform currently is pretty simple. I try to incorporate a little more silver because the silver looks really nice with the color combo and it works with both Kelly Green and the Midnight Green. And of course we have to have the Black Sunday all black uniforms. Not touching the helmet color there, I think the Midnight Green helmet works for the all black look for the birds. The Colts look I didn't really touch. Um, about the only thing I did was add a navy uniform in there. Other than that, it's basically the Colts look. I think the Colts have a really good uh, uniform design. It's simple, but it's a classic, and I don't think it needs being touched. I think the Colts have one of the best uniforms in the league, honestly. Um, I love their, like, the blue and the white. I think it looks really good. All right, the Jets are in the good category for Bacon's analysis, but again, that was before they did their redesign. And I think their redesign kind of blows. I don't know why they incorporated black outlines on the numbers. I think their green and white look... It was similar to the Colts in that they just rocked green and white, and I think it worked and it fit them well. I did like that they changed the green to be slightly brighter, and I went with that in my redesign, but I like the two-stripe look that they had. I don't know. I don't think they should have strayed away from that. I do like the green helmets and the new logo on the helmet, so like I also did that. I actually think this might be my favorite of the designs I did just because... I don't know, the green and white just looks really nice together, and I'm a big fan of it. I gave them an all green alternate that's like slightly brighter, more like a neon-ish, but not quite. It's not Seattle Seahawks color rush bright. And I also did an away uniform that's all white and silver because, I don't know, obviously with just green and white, it's hard to create another alternate. So I just went white and silver to mix things up, and I think it'd be like a kind of cool look for a team to do. Um, although I designed that before the MLB did their uh, Players Weekend uniform, and that kind of sucked. So for the Chiefs, I really didn't do too much to their current uniforms. I think they have really good looking uniforms currently. The Chiefs' current look is very unique to them. Uh, you'd think that having two teams in the league named after like a similar group of people, similar color scheme, would get a little confusing. Of course, talking about the Redskins and the Chiefs, both Native American themes there. And they're both red and yellow, but they both kind of distinguish themselves well. In my redesign, I kind of, I didn't want to make them too similar. For both of them, I did uh, slightly altered patterns. The Redskins one is like a little more detailed, and I kept the Chiefs one sim simplified. It's similar to their current um, stripe that they have. Uh, for their home, it's white, yellow, white in the stripe. But I added some like Native American patterning just to make it a little more interesting. And I think it looks really good. It's like, it's basically the same design, just with a little more interest in the stripe, because of course I wanted to give every team something unique. I also did an alternate jersey with the red, uh, all red and yellow numbers, and then like a headdress helmet, because I think that would be like a pretty cool thing for them to do. It's sort of similar to the Redskins design I did, but I mean, like, this is my fantasy world, so I mean, like, people wouldn't complain about it. I gave them a um, all yellow mustard uniform as well. For Green Bay, I really didn't do anything. I just made the logo slightly bigger because I think, like, that might look better. I also gave them an all yellow jersey because I think that'd be like a cool alternate away jersey or something. And I also gave them throwback uniforms with a gold helmet instead of their yellow helmet that they have to wear uh, because of the helmet rule. Fairly simple, didn't really touch the Packers. Now we're on to great, and the first team we have there are the New York Giants. I like the Giants' um, older jerseys, like Lawrence Taylor Giants jerseys. 
and I prefer the Giants on the helmet as opposed to the NY, but that's just like a personal choice. The striping I went with for their look is like a bigger stripe with a smaller one below it. And I don't know, I think it fits well in this design. Their current blue jersey doesn't have any stripes, but their away does. I thought I'd do something that both of them can use. And I actually do like their uh, away jerseys with the red numbers. I went with blue numbers, but I'm kind of regretting it. I think red numbers would look a little better, but it's whatever. And then I gave them a throwback to um, those Lawrence Taylor jerseys that I really like so much. The Vikings uniforms I went with really don't stray too far from what they currently have. Um, I couldn't really replicate the matte helmet effect, even though that is definitely the, the superior helmet look. I also changed the font because a lot of people really like the font they currently have, but it's just so inconsistent across numbers that I, I kind of hate it. So I went with like a more consistent font that has like a slight point at the end. I gave them an all white alternate with a white helmet that doesn't feature any yellow because I think the white and purple like looks really nice. And I also gave them uh, all mustard yellow jerseys. I also incorporated a like Nordic or Norse pattern on the collar and on like any yellow bits. The Lions new redesign is really great. I love them getting rid of the black trim that they had and just rocking the blue and the silver. So I, I went in the same direction with my design for them. I didn't change too much. I did add a slight white stroke on the numbers because I did a like a brushed metal pattern on the numbers and other gray spots or other silver spots because I don't know, I feel like a metal texture for Detroit is kind of fitting, like they had the car industry and everything like that. So I went with that for the like the silver numbers and the silver jerseys. I also went with silver numbers on the white jerseys because I thought that'd be pretty pretty sleek looking, especially with silver pants that they wear. But maybe changing that to blue for like blue pants would be pretty nice. And also I did it, I gave them an all black uniform. The Seahawks jersey, I took forever to figure out what I was going to do with it. Um, because Seattle's jerseys are pretty awesome right now. They're one of the better ones in the league. They incorporate a bunch of patterns and I don't know, it's just very different from what we traditionally saw in the NFL. But I did see someone post a redesign of their uniforms using the classic colors and look. And it seemed like the Seattle subreddit, the Seattle Seahawks subreddit really liked that look. So I kind of rolled with that for mine. I went with like the classic color scheme a little bit of the classic look, uh, silver helmet on silver pants, and there's so many navy teams that I like. I, it kind of makes sense to go back to the, the older blue that they had, uh, not the ones from not the one from the early 2000s, but like further than that. And that blue with the green looks really nice. I tried to do a sleeve pattern that kind of replicated a uh, like the bird, the, their mascot. I did give them an all navy alternate with the navy helmet that kind of looks similar to what they currently have and I am a big fan of their highlighter color rush uniform so I did that as well sorry if you don't like them but I think they're pretty hilarious and fun to look at I also use that pattern that they currently have in their uniform that bird feather pattern uh, I featured it on the helmet and the numbers as well all right now we're going to move on to the grand the final category the Oakland Raiders have a classic look that I didn't touch at all I just tried to literally replicate it and the away jersey I just used the silver numbers like their color rush because that is definitely better than the black numbers. I gave them an all black uniform as well since they're moving to Vegas and it seemed like they probably should do something to like spice up their brand a little bit. So I gave them all black uniforms and I gave them a throwback that features the gold that they first had in their uniforms. And I thought that was a nice touch for like a Vegas team as well to incorporate gold. So that's why I did that. The Steelers are another team I didn't really touch. I uh, basically kind of fixed up the stripe on the side to make it look how I wanted it to look. Gave them all black uniforms with the yellow helmet too because that looks really nice. And I did a Bumblebee-esque jersey, but I made the stripes very subtle. I know Steelers fans love the Bumblebee stripes though, but I think they retired that look, so I thought I'd change it up and do my own take on it. Make it a little subtle, put the stripes on the sleeves and the socks and call it a day. The Niners have a really good uh, color scheme with the red and the gold. I gave them the red face mask because I think it looks better than the gray one 
personally and I changed up the sleeve stripes to be like the three white stripes but with like gold in between I think that looks pretty sleek I gave him a look with red pants as well with the white you can also make it all white but I didn't I gave him an all red um, jersey with the, um, gold numbers and the white drop shadow too I think that'd be a cool color rush I don't like them in an all black uniform now I said I love all black I every team could have an all black or should have an all black uh, but for whatever reason, I just feel like the Niners are a classic team that don't need that. And so I gave them a throwback uniform because they came out with throwbacks last year, two years ago. That looked really nice. So I thought they should do it again, this time with the home red. All right, the Bears are in the grand category, but I think that's because of Bacon's bias. I think he was a Bears fan, if I remember correctly. I mean, they have good uniforms. I don't know if they're grand. I just put my spin on them. I got rid of the white outlines on the sleeve stripes. And that's about it for the home jerseys and the away jerseys are basically the same and i gave them like a um like a darker orange because it felt like a grittier orange jersey rather than the bright orange i don't know I, th I think it fit chicago well in my mind and then i gave them a blue alternate with the orange numbers as well and for the finale we have the bills now the bills have a great uniform the only thing i mixed up was changing the thickness of the stripes um, like down the helmet it gets thicker and then on the sleeves it gets thicker as you go back I gave them an all red jersey with like reflective numbers Kind of thought that'd be like a cool like alternate to wear occasionally And then I gave them an all white throwback uniform because that's one of my favorite throwbacks in the league And I do have McCoy on the jersey, but I made that one back in February So he's still with the team he's still supposed to be a big player. He didn't just get released uh, but anyways guys that is this video. I hope you enjoyed my take on the NFL jerseys If you did, please leave a like check out the full project in the description down below Be sure to check out Skillshare use my link in the description to get two months free and there's a bunch of videos on Skillshare I use it like daily now um, Just to learn stuff and pick stuff up. So check that out in the description check out my store and thank you guys for watching subscribe for more Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace